Would you be interested in half price Starlink service? What if that came with a 250 gigabyte priority data cap instead of the normal unlimited data plan? SpaceX is experimenting with just such an offer. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on what SpaceX is up to with Starlink. Now, in the United States, Starlink plants have always been the same. They have unlimited data, and currently that's $110 a month for the residential plan. And you can use as much data as you want, all at the same priority, as long as you are at your registered home service address. Now, in Europe, the plans have been 99 euros a month, and, well, they have the same basic offering. But in France, some Starlink customers have recently gotten an update from SpaceX saying that their plan is changing. The price is being cut in half to 50 euros. A big, big price cut, but the terms of service are changing. So instead of unlimited data, these new plans starting in October will have just 250 gigabytes of priority data to use. And then once you've used up that 250 gigabytes, you are at a lower priority for the rest of your service month. Or for 10 additional euros, you can get another 100 gigabytes, as many as you need if you want more priority data. So this is a pretty big change to the way SpaceX has been pricing and selling Starlink. And it's not quite clear whether this is just a limited experiment in France, if it is just dealing with the conditions and congestion in France, where there is reportedly very few ground stations and SpaceX might be especially capacity constrained, or maybe SpaceX is doing this as an experiment considering a new worldwide offering and a new plan that might be a change for everyone. And well, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Now, for a lot of people, particularly RVers and, and cruisers and stuff who are not using Starlink as their only internet connection, 250 gigabytes would actually be a pretty hefty amount of data to use in a month. 350 for just an extra you know, $10, $10 a month more and so on and so on. So we'd actually kind of like at least having the option of a half price data plan. We would welcome that option to come along. Um, but we're not sure about the idea of that being forced onto everyone. And now how will SpaceX actually implement this priority data scheme? Right now, the RV plan is deprioritized everywhere. The $135 a month RV plan, you can use it anywhere, but you're always at a lower priority. And the residential plan, when you're at your official service address, is at a higher priority and you have unlimited data all the time. Would this new um, potentially you know, running out of deprioritized data be basically treated like you're on an RV plan, and you're running down to that lower tier? What sort of speed differences will the higher tier and lower tier see? How congested is SpaceX's network really? All of these questions basically SpaceX engineering only really knows the answer to, and they're probably playing with their spreadsheets, experimenting with various variables, testing simulations, and trying to decide how they want their plans to go. So it's interesting to see them experimenting with some new developments in Europe. We'll see if this percolates around the globe and, well, what do you think? Are you interested in half price Starlink service? You know, if it was down to $55 a month, would that tempt you? Or do you want to keep the higher price and keep it locked in at unlimited high priority data? These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.